Hi, I'm Layla Fox from Layla Fox Nation. Today's video, I am so excited to share with you a sneak peek of the Minion Masters brand new adventure mode, which launches along with the quest for Mountain Shaper. This expansion is going to be coming out this Thursday on December 5th, and that is when adventure mode is also going to be launching. Here we are on the main menu where you do have the option to click adventures for the quest for Mountain Shaper. What I do like is there are two additional spots, which makes me believe that they will probably continue to make more of these adventures. Here you get the choice between normal or hard. So for this video, I'm just going to go with normal. We're going to click start. I have gone through and completed some of this to be able to show you what adventure mode looks like. So for this, we are going to start with chapter one. Now chapter one is going to be free, keep that in mind. Chapters two and three can be bought for rubies. So chapter one is finding your way. There's five encounters, which means that there's going to be five bosses, I guess you could say. You've arrived at the Stout Heart Village, where rumors of the Mountain Shaper first spread. Search the surrounding area for clues and see if someone in the village can help you find out where to go next. So we click start, and you're going to see there's five masters. Again, I have them all unlocked because I've been playing, but you are going to start with Milo. So Milloine, and you see she's in her new skin too for Quest for Mountain Shaper. She is Stout Heart Milloine. Milloween receives a dark and cryptic vision that sets her on a journey to find the ancient artifact Mountain Shaper. Mocked by her peers, she sets out on her own to try and stop the terrible weapon from falling into the wrong hands. The only elves willing to join her on the dangerous journey are High Mage Lele and her personal guard. There are five masters initially that you can choose from. I plan on doing a video with each master to show you what each three perks are because they are all vastly different. And you are also going to see there's a couple new ones down here. We have Jolo along with, this looks like a crossbow dude, which you'll see there's more to this one, and also a demon warrior. I plan on going a little bit more in depth on those in the next parts of the series, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. For this video, I am going to go quickly through and I'm going to show you what some gameplay looks like. So we are going to choose Milloween and you get to choose an enhanced card. Right now, when you first start, you only get one option. So the only option I have is Lost Legionnaires. The second option becomes available when you defeat 15 bosses with this master. And the third option, which is a legendary, becomes available when you defeat 30 bosses with this master. So we're going to choose the only one option right now. And the first encounter is going to be Guardian Frostfeather. And the three perks for Guardian Frostfeather is Furious Frenzy. All minions have haste when summoned. The next is Death from Above. Add one Frostfeather Flyby to your deck and it costs zero mana. That's a brand new card, Frostfeather Flyby. And number three again is add one Frostfeather Flyby to your deck and it costs zero. So there's gonna be a lot of Frostfeather Flybys in this deck. And there's two, a thousand health. So this is going to be encounter one of five. The village guard smiled and boasted. You look like you couldn't even defeat my pet Frostfeather. Why should we let you in a puny elf like yourself? So let's go. Now, because this is adventure mode, just like any of the other PvE modes, you can pause this in between if you need to. So for the sake of this game, I am going to just be playing some cards out. We do have Arcane Legionnaires. We have some Legionnaires. We have some Crystal Elves. So it's very much... It looks very much how you would expect against in a challenge mode or how you would expect in expeditions, for example, is you are playing against an NPC. Now again, there is hard mode and I have been told that hard mode is very difficult. This is normal mode, just to give you guys an idea of what the gameplay looks like. So playing our cards out, so we both have perk one at the moment. There's some cross feather flyby. All right, and they are down to about, yeah, less than 400 health at this point. So we should have this very, very shortly. There we go. So this is going to be battle one. So you see it's very straightforward. And yes, 
the encounters do scale in difficulty as you go. As you saw, there are three chapters, and it's pretty much the same thing that applies across the board, is that they start a little bit easier and they do get harder as you go along. After an encounter is you get to add a relic to your deck. Now this is going to be random. There's all kinds of different random options you can get. So the ones we are offered here are Crystal Bargain. Every other spell you play has its mana cost reduced by half, rounded down. To the defense is Summon a Warrior whenever your master takes 200 damage within five seconds, or Through the Nether. Whenever you cast three minions in a row, teleport all your minions closer to the enemy master and give them rage. And again, rage is plus 50% attack damage. So just for this, I will take to the defense and you get to choose your cards. So after every encounter, you get to add an additional relic, which is just an extra special ability that happens, whether it affects your mana, whether it affects your health potentially, whether it affects the opponents, if it enhances your minions, it all is all going to be very random. And you also get to choose cards, which means you get to add more cards to your current deck. Also keep in mind, when you are starting adventure mode, you don't get to build a deck. You have a standard deck that you're given, which is what you see above. This is the deck that you start with. And then what we're essentially doing is we're choosing what we want to enhance our deck with. So you have a couple options in this case, is that we have mini magic, crystallized, or mega magic. And I'll just take crystallized for this. And we're moving on to the next boss. Another thing to keep in mind as well when you're playing adventures is that when your master takes damage, the damage continues on into the next encounter. So for example, in the last boss fight, if I had taken 100 damage and I was down to 2,900, going into this fight against Paul, I would be at 2,900 health. So it's important to keep that in mind is that the damage you take continues on. Now, I will tell you, I did see a relic that does heal you and also gives you additional health. So there is some relics like that in there as well, too. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I would also appreciate a like or some comments down below. Let me know what you think. I want to make a quick video, show you some of the mechanics. Stay tuned for the next five videos in my series where I'm going to go over each of the different masters. I'll show you their abilities so you get an idea of who you want to maybe try to play and maybe tell you who some of my favorites are. So I'll see you in the next video and you can always catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash LaylaFoxNation. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash LaylaFoxNation four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and be part of our community and we'll see you there.